So in this video, we're going to look at two examples of differentiating exponential functions. So the first one, we'll start with a simple example, and then we'll move to a little bit more complicated one. So if we have the function f of x equals 27 times 5 to the x. So we have a base 5 exponential function sitting right here. Now we want to take d dx of f of x, in other words, find the derivative of f of x. So we want to find the derivative f prime of x. We know that's going to be d dx of 27 times 5 to the x. And 27 is just a constant. So we know from our uh, derivative rules that the derivative of a constant times a function is just the constant times the derivative of the function. And then we could apply the formula that we developed in the previous video directly. So we would get 27 times. And in the previous video, we identified that the derivative d dx of a to the x is just a natural log of a times a to the x. So in this case, that's base 5. So it's going to be the natural log of 5 times 5 to the x for the derivative of the original function. So here we'll do another example. This is going to be a case that involves the chain rule. And we're going to look at this three different ways. We're going to look at three different ways you could attack this. So starting with f of x equals 5 to the 2x squared. If we want to take the derivative f prime of x, we know that we're going to have to take d dx of 5 to the 2x squared. And what I want to recognize is that I have a function in the exponent position. So this is going to be a chain rule problem. So one way I could think about it would just be to do a simple u substitution, let u equals 2x squared. So if I do that, I'm taking d dx of 5 to the u. And now I'm just going to apply the rule up here, where I say, hey, the derivative of 5 to the u is going to be the natural log of the base times 5 to the u, but I have a I have u as a function of x in the exponent position, so the chain rule says that I need to multiply by u prime. So this is going to equal the natural log of 5 times 5 to the u, but u is just 2x squared, the expression that was in the exponent position to begin with, and u prime is just going to be from here 4x. And then this is, this is good, good enough. We could rearrange this, so we might want to rewrite it as 4 times the natural log of 5, and then maybe x5 to the 2x squared. Uh, but the form that we put the final answer in is kind of going to be up to us. We could move this 4 up into an exponent position on 5 as well, using exponent rules, but there's no need to do that. So I didn't need to do the u substitution, so this is one way to think about it. I, like I said, we're going to look, think about this three different ways. So the second way to think about it is, hey, I want to find the derivative of f of x equals 5 to the 2x squared. I see that I have a base 5 exponential function. I see that I have a function in the exponent position, so I know I'm going to need to use the chain rule. So to get f prime of x, I need to take d dx of 5 to the 2x squared. But this is going to equal, then I apply my definition from the previous video, the derivative of a base 5 exponential function is going to be the natural log of 5 times 5 to the crap. So 5 to the 2x squared times, and then by the chain rule, the derivative of the expression that is in the exponent position. So times the derivative of 2x squared is just 4x. And again, you could reorganize this if you wanted to four times. I like putting, I like, I, I like reorganizing it, but there's no particular reason why you have to do this. As I think is a personal preference. But you can see I got the same thing either way. And then if you didn't remember the formula, if you were in a pickle and did not remember the formula, you could just use logarithmic differentiation. So for example, if we know that f of x equals 5 to the 2x squared, and we're being asked to find f of f prime of x, question mark, question mark, and we can't remember the derivative formula, 
we could use logarithmic differentiation. Just take the natural log of both sides. So whatever you do to one side, do to the other. Take the natural log of both sides. By the, by the properties of the natural log, we know that whatever's in the exponent position that can come down in front of or behind the natural log because the order of multiplication doesn't matter. So I'm going to get the natural log of f of x equals and this is the same, this is the same as the natural log of 5 times the content that was in the exponent position, so the 2x squared. And then I can take the derivative of both sides of this. I can say take d dx of the left and right sides of the equation. And the derivative of the natural log of a function is just going to have that f prime over f of x form that we've been seeing uh, in, in uh, videos recently. So we're going to get the form, the derivative of the natural log is going to give us the form f prime over f, or crap prime over crap. And then the derivative of this, well, the natural log of 5 times 2 is just a constant. So I'm going to get the natural log of 5 times 2, the constant times the derivative of the function. The function is x squared, and the derivative of x squared is 2x. And then I can simplify things a little bit. 2 times 2 is 4. So I get a 4 times the natural log of 5 times x. But I could also right here now multiply both sides by f of x. If I do that, I'm going to get f prime of x isolated. And that's what we were trying to figure out. What is the derivative? And I multiplied both sides by f of x. But what is f of x? Well, f of x is just 5 to the 2x squared. So I can replace f of x, the function, with the expression that it represents, which is 5 to the 2x squared. And I have the same thing that I got doing it both of the other ways.